Hey Truth Seekers, how are you doing as Phineas? Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you've all been well since the last time I made a video. Got a few things to say today. Uh, the first thing I want to say is uh, I've got a new website uh, called newenergy21.co.uk. I will put a end card at the end of this video. Uh, it's a really cool site. I've actually designed my own program now uh, which I'm releasing uh, which is a deep healing program and it covers all the awesome aspects of what we all need to be doing to stay well and healthy in this modern 21st century which is quite difficult my friends it's quite difficult to keep balance it's really difficult to keep on top of the amount of chemicals that are around the crap that a lot of us eat uh, the amount we don't relax the amount we, we don't get enough sleep nervous systems are always turned on um, we're doing things that aren't very good for us on a regular basis so my deep healing program is really countering that uh, and if you feel like you're starting to feel a bit unwell losing energy check it out um, I run a lot of the programs from hair mineral analysis first but then deep healing protocols are put together after that it's really awesome check it out and um, there's going to be free content on there as well about funky little tips so that was that uh, the next thing I want to cover is uh, something which is close to my heart, actually, because I've got children and I can see it happening. And so if you've got children, you know how hard it is when they start secondary school to when you get that question, Dad, can I have a phone? And it's like, oh, your heart sinks. And you think, really, child? Do you really want to agree for your freedom to be taken away, for your ego to be more active? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Get a phone ruin your life um yeah so my daughter was given my old iphone she walks to school down the road and i wanted as a paranoid parent as we all are that i wanted her to call me if she needed to bless her um and so I, i've agreed to a phone so i've kind of monitored, monitored her with the phone and i'm like i'm watching her and i can see her getting addicted to the damn thing so um i've taken a bit of a stand and i'm kind of dropping my smartphone which is Samsung S9 um, and really reducing my usage of it uh, as an example to her. Um, I struggle with mobile phone addiction. Probably not as much as everybody else but I'm very aware of it because I'm so spiritually open I can feel things around me that other people maybe can't feel and I'm very aware of the effect it's having on my mind and my soul. Uh, I'm, a, I'm really aware of the effect of how it speeds my mind up, uh, how it takes energy from me um, how it gives me information in my mind that I really don't need to know. Uh, social media I gave up for a long time, but I do use it for work. Um, I have got clients and stuff, and I do find it completely ungrounding. So I thought, what can I do about this? And so I did a bit of research, and plus I get kind of EMF sensitivity. Uh, that's probably from working too hard for the last 12 years, uh, having um, maybe low potassium in my cells, which my hair analysis tells me I have got. Um, that can cause EMF sensitivity, as can many other things. But I don't, I don't really feel, you know, EMF sensitivity can also come from, you know, things like parasites and, and stuff like that. I don't feel it's that. I don't feel it's a toxin, actually. I, I feel like it's just my spiritual process and probably adrenal uh, cortisol and that sort of thing struggling a bit. So I've decided to take a stand and I have bought what I consider to be the lowest EMF smartphone on the market. And it, it, it just barely edges into the smartphone category of 4G. Um, but this is my bad boy. It's a Nokia 8810. Hi, Phineas speaking. <laughs> Remember those ones? So awesome. It's got a little funky curved shake, uh, shape to it. Um, since I've had this phone, I've had so many people have uh, give me comments whether I'm, you know, I'm in a coffee shop or I'm out and about or with family relatives so I'll, I'll get it out and I go my god what is that thing and it is the Nokia HA10 and as I say it barely gets into the smartphone category it has got 4G but the interesting thing about this phone is that when I started using it it was a nightmare because it was so slow on a connection to the internet. And I thought, you know, 
the reason I bought it is because of EMF, first of all, because it's very low in EMF. If I put it in my ear, I can hardly feel it compared to my Samsung. Um, but I wanted to, to have a phone for when I go out and about, which is quite a lot. I want to take something with me that isn't my smartphone. I'm going to use my Samsung S9, my S9 for dictation, which I use a lot, um, and for WhatsApp, which I have with clients and, uh, and friends. But I'm only going to do that for an hour a day, or maybe two sets of 20 minutes a day. For the rest of the time, I'm going to be using that. Let me see if I can get the menu. So funny. Uh -huh, yes, look. So sweet. <laughs> so the smart features don't really work. If you want to log on to Google, then you can painfully. It takes you about five minutes and you can just browse very slowly. But you know what, guys? I'm not using the smart features on it. I'm just using it as a funky little phone. It's very good at taking notes. It's very good at making phone calls, which my smartphone isn't. My Samsung speakerphone doesn't work properly. So the whole point of it being a phone doesn't actually work properly, even though it cost me 600 quid. Um, this thing costs 60 quid, 60 pounds, very low in EMF. And you know what? When I've got it on me, my mind is clear. I'm not checking it like a maniac because I know it doesn't work very well. I feel a sense of freedom returning to me. Now I'm using that. Smartphones, the way they're going, are taking away our freedom. They're activating your ego. They're taking you out of your present moment. They're filling your mind with information you do not need. You probably have an on, most of us have an online profile. Once that gets activated on Facebook or Twitter or even WhatsApp, then you're dealing with an egoic reaction to who you are, how you're projecting yourself. We need to turn away from that in a big, big way because it's the worst thing <clears throat> currently going on, I believe that is against the cause of self-realization and finding your true self. It does have benefits, small benefits. It does connect you to people. It does get you somewhere with a map, but use it for what it's good at. Mobile phones are good at taking notes. They're good at getting stuff out of your brain, which I'm really good at. I put all the crap out of my brain and put it on a mobile. But use your mobile phone. Don't let it use you. You'll know if you're addicted to it. If you get up in the morning and you start looking for it. If you walk past it and you can't help but pick it up. Turn your notifications off. Put your mobile on a drawer. Get one of these. Start taking that around with you instead. And use your smartphone for maybe half an hour or 20 minutes twice a day or something. What I've noticed is when I go back to my S9 smartphone, it's like a wild beast. I'm like, I've got to check this. It's like my mind's like going into that mindset. Got to check this, got to check that, got to check this, got to check that. And what I was doing when I was counting all the time was doing those things like 50 times a day, checking the different apps. Guys, leave it alone. See what it's doing to your mind and your soul. Turn away from it. Show your kids you're better than being addicted to that crap. Now, the last thing I'm going to say to you is with 5G being rolled out, these things are gonna get nastier. Not this little thing, but the Samsung's iPhones. The control factor of us will be phenomenal. Not just for mobiles, but for other things. Surveillance and the apps you'll be able to use, the, the, the devices that will be able to walk around your house. The, I mean, 5G is terrifying. We've done no trials on it. The EU have just rolled it out. So have the UK government. No one cares. Care for yourself. Start turning away from the smart devices. Don't get a smart meter. Turn away from your smart mobile phone. Turn away from smart everything, guys, because you don't need it. Go for the older devices that work just as well. With 5G being rolled out, my opinion is that it's a lot more about control. And your, your children will 
not no freedom as it once was if you decide to go down that route full ball. Just be aware. So going back to this, it's a really, really low EMF phone. It's a pleasure to use it. it it's a pain in the ass to, to do smart stuff on, but that's brilliant for me. And so I'd highly recommend it, Nokia 8810. Um, so that's it, my 10 minutes is up guys. And so mobile phone addiction, be very aware of it. Keep your mind decluttered. Come back to your present moment. Come back to your creative soul. Know that you're an eternal soul, you're creative, you're delicate, you're sensitive. Mobile phones is just ego-based crap, mainly. And the worst part of you loves your mobile phone, and that's fact. Be an example to your friends, be an example to your children. Move forward as part of the revolution of turning away from that sort of thing. If, we, if enough of us do it, we can do it. Start today, monitor what you do in smart devices, Cut it back over time. Okay, guys. Love you all, truth seekers. And I'll speak to you soon. Oh, if you like my video, like. I forgot to say that. I always forget to say that. And all, another really important thing is, uh, not only subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, but hit the notifications button, the little bell on YouTube, because that means you get a notification every time I make a video. So, um, yeah, which would be awesome for... Um, for me and for you, hopefully. Okay, bye for now.